Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen with Hooked for Hope. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make my Halloween trick-or-treat bags. These are pretty awesome. Right here I have the jack-o'-lantern, the ghost, and the monster. In this video, I'm gonna be making the vampire. There are gonna be four different options that you can choose from. The materials and the pattern, I'm just gonna leave in the notes section below. So if you wanna take a peek, go ahead and just push the show more button below this video and it'll reveal all of my notes. So you can grab all of the materials, get those all ready. You can click on that link and print off the pattern and just be ready to follow along with me. If at any point in this video you do like what you see please push that thumbs up button and if you haven't yet subscribe to my channel that way you don't miss any of my videos I release two brand new videos every single week covering a wide range of different types of crochet projects and you're not gonna want to miss out these are going to be great this Halloween just to bring a smile to your little critter whether you're going to have them use these as actual trick-or-treat bags or if you want to just stuff these with a bunch of little treats and a bunch of little goodies and give them as a gift either way it's really gonna bring a smile to any child that receives these. So let's just go ahead and dive right into how to make these amazing bags. All right, to begin, we're going to just make that slip knot, tiny tail, attach our crochet hook. Perfect. You're going to chain 80. So one, two, three, four, 77, 78, 79, 80. Perfect. Okay. For row one, we're going to single crochet in the second chain from our hook. Single crochet. And we're going to place one single crochet in each chain all the way down to the end. Ooh, it's a long chain. All right. You should end with 79 single crochets. So if you're counting, go ahead and make sure that that number hits 79. 77. 78 and last chain 79 great okay so we're going to chain one turn our work and we're going to again put one single crochet in each stitch all the way down to the very last stitch so for row two through row 44 you're just going to chain one at the end of the row, turn your work and put one single crochet in each stitch all the way across. That's all you're doing for row two through row 44. You should end uh, this work at the end of row 44. It should look like a giant rectangle. Okay, that's what we want. So go ahead and keep working and I will meet you at the end of row 44 to show you what to do next. All right, guys, we have just finished row 44. So now you should see this rectangular shape that we've just created. What I would like you to do is I would like you to fold this in half with your crochet side on the top. So we're gonna grab this side, pull that over, flatten it out, and then take this the corner that had your crochet hook connected to it, and we're gonna fold this on top. Okay, align the edges smooth it out perfect okay so this is this is the main bag of your halloween trick-or-treat bag what we're going to do next is we're going to actually uh, secure these two sides together and we're going to secure the bottom together the best way to make sure that these sides don't shift on you is to grab either a safety pin or a paper clip or some kind of way of securing to the two ends so they don't shift on you. We're going to take this corner, going to take that corner, and make sure that they stay put because believe me, it's a real bummer if while you're sewing up the side, one side starts creeping up on the other and then it's shifted. We are going to secure this side together. We're going to secure this side together. We're going to leave the top flap open. Go ahead and turn your work so you're working along the side. We're going to single crochet the two sides together. Okay, so going in the first hole, the same hole that you just single crocheted into, we're going to insert our crochet hook in that hole. And then we're going to insert our crochet hook in the hole on the top of the other side of the work. Yarn over, pull through and pull through. So now we've pulled that yarn through both sides of the work and we're going to yarn over and pull through too. 
that's our first single crochet. So next stitch, we're gonna insert our crochet hook, follow through to the other side, insert our crochet hook, yarn over, pull through that one, pull through that one, yarn over, pull through the two. Continue to single crochet along this side, just making sure that these, because this top side is gonna wanna pull, it's gonna wanna pull forward. So just periodically look. The stitches do not have to align. So don't worry about, oh, this stitch has to go in that stitch. It really doesn't have to align, okay? Just make sure that these two sides stay level with each other and then just continue to single crochet down the side, okay? Go ahead and continue down this side and I will meet you at this corner. All right, guys, we have now made it to that last corner stitch right there. Go ahead and remove whatever you used to secure that end. And we are going to put three single crochet in that last corner stitch. One, two, three. Great, okay, so this little tail, go ahead and leave that out. We don't wanna tuck it in because this is actually the inside of the bag. We will be turning it inside out. So go ahead and leave that tail outside here. Shift your work. Make sure everything is straight and continue to put one single crochet in each stitch all the way down to the end here. And I will meet you at the end to show you what to do next. Great, okay, last stitch right here. And we are done with that side. Go ahead and grab your scissors, cutting a smallish tail right there, enough where we can create our yarn over, pull through to secure that knot, to secure the project. If you want, you can even insert your hook back in that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull all the way through for a second secure knot, just to make sure that that hole in the edge of the basket is completely closed off. Set your crochet hook off to the side. What we're gonna do now is insert our hand into the bag, grab the corner right there with your fingers, and pull and then do the same thing with the other corner grab your hand pull inside out okay so you might see this little like lip right there go ahead and just make sure you pull that flat and then along the side how it wants to do this cave-in thing we want to just grab that corner and pull it out just to flatten out the bag. Okay, so once your bag is flattened, we are now going to make, so here's the opening. We are now going to make the handle part, handle section for your bag. Go ahead and grab the same color that you just used for the bag. Small tail, create your slip knot, attach your crochet hook, Okay, so the place that I like to attach the yarn to on the bag, so here is where this, we secured the two sides together. See, this is the first stitch on this side. This is the first stitch on that side. We actually want to make our first single crochet or our slip stitch to attach the yarn in this stitch right here. Okay, the very first stitch on this side of the bag. Okay insert. This right here is where we sewed the two sides together or single crocheted the two sides together. I'm going to yarn over and slip stitch into that first chain that's on your crochet hook just like that. Chain one and make your very first single crochet in that same stitch that we just slip stitched into. Perfect. Now we're going to go over that join where we joined the two sides together go over the join and single crochet in the next stitch right there. Great. Now go ahead and single crochet in the next 12 stitches for a total of 14. We want a total of 14. So one, two, wow. three, 13, 14. Now we're going to chain 15. One, two, wow. three, 13, Four. 14, 
15. Okay, skip 15 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, and single crochet into the 16th stitch right there. Perfect. Okay, that's going to be our first handle. Single crochet into the next 24 stitches for a total of 25 single crochet. So that is one, two, three, four, 24, 25. Now we're going to make the second handle. So chain 15, one, two, three, four, 13, 14, 15, okay, skip 15 stitches, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, single crochet in the 16th stitch, perfect, so that's handle number two, and single crochet to close, which should be a total of 10 single crochets, so one, two, three, eight, nine, ten. Perfect, guys. For row two through row seven, which we end at row seven of the handle, we're working in continuous rounds. We are not going to slip stitch and chain one. We're just going to dive right into the next row. We are going to single crochet in the first single crochet of our previous row and start our row two. Single crochet in each stitch. All right, so here we go, last stitch before the handle. We are now at the handle. So we're making 15 single crochets on the handle. So I like to put my hook inside the giant gap hole right there. There's one, two, three, four. If you are someone that really likes to just insert your crochet hook into the stitch, and make the row two of the handle by actually inserting your crochet hook into the stitches. You can do that too, that's totally fine. You're gonna get the same number. 14, 15. Okay, single crochet in the top of the next single crochet. And continue on, putting one single crochet on top of each single crochet. And when you get to the handle, the next handle, You'll just put 15 single crochet on that handle like we did with the previous handle. Okay, I just finished my last stitch of row two, about to hop into row three right here. If you are wondering, okay, how do I count my rows, Tiffany, for my handle? Just know that for your handle here, that was row one. Then row two was the same row that went on top of your handle. Then we'll do row three, four, five, six, and end at the end of round seven, okay? And round three through round seven, you're just putting one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. That's all you are doing. Even on each one of these stitches right here for the handle, just putting one single crochet on top of each single crochet of that handle. I will meet you at the very end of row seven to close this off and then move on to the next step. You're doing great. Keep up the great work, guys. I have just finished round seven of my handle. All you have to do is slip stitch into the next stitch. So I'm looking at where my join was here. I just follow it up and right around this section. It doesn't have to be a specific stitch, just right around this area. Just slip stitch into a stitch, grab your scissors, cutting a tail long enough for you to weave in your ends however you want to weave in your ends. Yarn over, pull through your loop, and secure. And I like to do that twice. So I will reinsert my crochet hook into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through that loop, and secure. Perfect. Okay, our bag is done. Look at it, it looks great. Okay, so I am working on the vampire bag. As I'm going through face pieces, I will try to be very detailed in, oh, this is going to be this piece for these bags. 
Okay. The only real bag that is completely different is the jack-o'-lantern, but I'll go more into that as I'm explaining the pieces. So right now we are done with the bag part. So we can just put that off to the side. Go ahead and grab your white color yarn. In this case, I am using Simply Soft. I would prefer to use, they're both a size four, which really kind of throws me because when I use Simply Soft, it works up thinner than if I were to use a Vanna's Choice or, and I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby, just because all three of those yarns are a size four weighted yarn or an Erin yarn, worsted weight yarn, but Simply Soft seems to just work up thinner. I'm going to explain how I deviated with those two patterns. When we're making the eyes for the vampire, we're going to start with the white color. We're going to make the outer part of the eye. We're going to make our slip knot small tail. Make a slip knot. Perfect. Okay. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, you're going to single crochet in the second chain from your hook. So single crochet. And then single crochet in the next two chains for a total of three single crochets. Great. So one, two, three. In that last uh, chain, you're going to put four single crochets. One, two, three, four. Now we're working on the other side of that chain. Go ahead and single crochet in the next two stitches for the other side of that chain. So one and two. In that very last chain right there, we're going to put three single crochets. One, two, three. That first single crochet counts as the fourth for that corner. We're going to slip stitch in the top of that first single crochet to close our first round. Chain one, single crochet in that same stitch that we just slip stitched into. Great. Single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, three for a total of four single crochets right here. Increase single crochet in the next stitch, which just means put two single crochets in the next stitch. One, two, right? Single crochet in the next stitch. Increase single crochet in the following stitch, which just means put two single crochets in that next stitch. Single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, three. Increase single crochet in the next stitch. One, two. Single crochet in the next stitch. One, and increase single crochet in the stitch after that. One, two. Slip stitch into the top of the very first single crochet. Great, you are now in round three. So chain one, single crochet in that same stitch that you slip stitched into. Single crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, Four. Next stitch, you're going to do an increase single crochet. One, two, single crochet in the next stitch. One, increase single crochet in the next stitch. One, two, single crochet in the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, increase single crochet in the next, one, two, single crochet, one, increase single crochet in the next, one, two, all right, sing, uh, slip stitch into the very top of that first single crochet to close off round three.
Okay, so normally if I were using uh, Vans Choice, I love this yarn, or I love this yarn in the white color, I would be done. But with Simply Soft yarn, it's on the thinner side, so I add an extra row. So for row four, I'm gonna chain one, single crochet in that same stitch that I did before, single crochet in the next five stitches, one, two, three, four, five. You're going to increase single crochet in the next stitch. One, two. You're going to put one single crochet in the next two stitches. One, one. Increase single crochet in the next stitch. Single crochet in the next seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Increase in the next stitch. One, two, two single or one single crochet in the next two stitches. One, one. Increase single crochet, one, two, and end with one single crochet right there. Perfect. Slip stitch in the top of the first single crochet, and you are done with this. So we're going to grab our scissors, cut a long tail so we can sew this part of the eye onto our bag. Yarn over, pull through the loop, and secure. Great. Okay, so you're gonna make two of these. We're shooting for this eye, this outer part of the eye, to be approximately two and three quarters inches long. That's what we're shooting for, for the length of the eye, the outer eye to be. So if you are using a thicker white size four weighted yarn and you don't need that fourth row to reach that dimension, then don't do the fourth row. But I just know that this yarn, even though it's a size four, it works up thinner for some reason. And I needed to add that extra row to meet that dimension. So go ahead and make two of these. All right, great. So once you are done with both of the white outer eyes, we are going to move on to our black color to make the inner eye or the pupil of the eye. So you take your yarn, small tail, slip knot, attach your crochet hook. Great. Okay, we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Turning our work, we're going to single crochet in the second chain on our hook. Single crochet in the next two chains for a total of three single crochets. One, two, so one, two, three. In the very last chain, we're going to make four single crochets. One, two, three, four. Now we are turned over to the other side of that chain. We are looking at the other side of the work. You're going to single crochet in the next two chains, or so the other side of the next two chains. One, two, and in that very last chain there, we're gonna put three single crochets. One, two, three. Slip stitch into the very first single crochet. And that's it for the pupil, guys. Go ahead and cut a long tail to sew onto the body of the work. Yarn over, pull through that loop, secure, and that, guys, is pupil number one. Go ahead and make another one real quick so we can move on to the next part. Okay, next let's give this vampire some eyebrows. Let's give him some personality. All right, so grabbing our black yarn again, we're going to give ourselves a small tail, attach our yarn to that slip knot, and we're gonna chain 10. So one, two, eight, nine, 10, turning. Row one, we are single crocheting in the second chain from our hook. Single crochet in the next eight, so a total of nine single crochets. And that is it for the eyebrow. Perfect. 
Okay, we're going to cut a long enough tail so we can attach this to the work. Yarn over, pull through. So there's eyebrow number one. Go ahead and make a second eyebrow to go on our little vampire. Perfect. Okay, so we have the outer eye, the inner eye, the eyebrow. For the vampire, the nose and the mouth are all going to be sewn onto the work with black yarn and a yarn needle or tapestry needle. So the only thing left that we have to crochet for this bag are the two vampire teeth. So grab the white yarn with a small tail, make your slip knot, attach your yarn. We're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. So slip stitch into the second chain from your hook. So slip stitch. In the third chain, you're going to single crochet. In the fourth chain, you're going to half double crochet. In the fifth chain, you are going to double crochet. And that leaves us with this triangle fang. Perfect. So we're going to take our scissors, cut a long tail again so we can attach, so attach this fang to our work. Yarn over, pull through loop, and secure. So that's fang number one. Go ahead and make fang number two real fast. The next step, we're going to sew pieces together. So in this instance, for this guy, the only two pieces to sew together are the inner eye to the outer eye, and then we would sew the outer eye onto the work. So what I'd like you to do right now for the next step is take your outer eye and sew it to your inner eye. Okay, once you have sewn all the way around, making sure that this pupil part is secured to your eye, go to the back of the work, insert your yarn needle into one of the stitches, pull that through while holding some of that yarn back, just like that. You're going to twist it so it forms an X shape. You'll take the yarn. So this is the yarn that's on the top. I'm gonna go on the yarn that's on the bottom, insert my needle and slowly pull to form that knot. Then I will reinsert my yarn needle into the work, pop it out further into the work right there, pull through, grab my scissors, cut the work or cut the yarn. And this eye is ready to be attached. So go ahead and sew on the second pupil real quick so then we can attach the eyes to the bag. Okay, when you are ready to secure your eyes to the actual bag, See, I have the eyebrows right here. I have the fangs right here. Let's go ahead and move these pieces so that way we can have more control of the bag. Looking at the handle, we're going to align our eyes with the corners of the handle. So for this corner right there, I'm going to place the top center most of my eye with that corner. Now this is where I'm gonna let you decide. Do you want your eye to be higher? Do you want your face to be lower on the bag, like where do you want your face to begin? I know that I have eyebrows for this vampire, so I'm gonna place my eyes a little bit lower, but you can place yours wherever you want to actually place your eyes. As long as the centermost part of that eye is in line with that corner of the handle. Now the same thing will go with this eye. If you just wanna speed up past me, you're gonna align this eye with this corner of the handle then make sure that they fall on the exact same row for the top for some symmetry. So go ahead and sew your two eyes on real fast. Okay, great. So our eyes are now sewn onto our bag and our eyes are in line with the handle. They're in line with each other. Perfect. Okay, so the next thing we would do if you have eyebrows on your bag, let's go ahead and sew on the eyebrows. Now the fun part of the eyebrows is you can either make him look angry if you want angry eyes or you can make him look nice, smiley. Play with where you want this uh, eyebrow to go to form which kind of personality you want this character to have. Sometimes I just like to have a straight line eyebrow 
just to kind of give a neutral look to the, the facial expression. Okay, so go ahead and take a second, if you have eyebrows, to put the eyebrows on your bag. Okay, great. So eyebrows, check. Eyes, check. Next, we will do the nose and the mouth. So I have a little diagram to help me with the vampire. When it comes to the nose and the mouth, if you wanna follow along with this, you can. If you want to deviate, you can do that too. What we're gonna do is we are going to grab our black yarn and our yarn needle to sew on the nose and the mouth. So let's start with the nose, okay? So we want the nose to be center with our handle. So let's go ahead and find the center of our handle. We crocheted in this stitch and we crocheted in that stitch. So we go one, one, two, two, three, three, seven, seven, eight. Right here is the center of my handle. Lay that down flat. So I want it to be in line right about here. So this is where, right there is where I want my nose to be. Grab some yarn, black yarn, thread it onto your yarn needle. So I will insert my yarn needle into this stitch or, so if this is where I am, I'm right here, then one, two, three. I want three spaces away from my needle, okay? So one, two, three. So I'm gonna come in the fourth space so I can pop out the third space. I'm gonna go down four rows. So one, two, three, four, come into where the middle part is. So come in three stitches. And then I'm gonna loop back over. So then I can loop back over. So I came in, entered the fourth stitch, came out the third stitch, went down four rows, one, two, three, four, and then I went over three stitches, so one, two, three. So that's where my yarn came out of. I'm gonna come back over, so back into this space, and I'm gonna pop out the even length on this side. So come straight up, so one, two, three. So right there. Okay, and if you need help, feel free to watch, uh, look at the diagram that I provide for you to know exactly where you need to come to enter your crochet hook or how many stitches you need to have apart. Okay, enter back into the tip of the nose, but this time come out the same stitch that we started. So now we have that V shape. Okay, so there's his nose. I'm gonna take these two pieces and we're gonna knot them together so we secure the work. I'm gonna make three knots. I'm gonna cut off my excess yarn and I'm going to grab my crochet hook. Where are you? I'm gonna insert my crochet hook into the bag and come out the same spot that I tied my knots in. Yarn over my loose yarn and pull it into the into the bag where I'll be able to hide all my ends. When we're all ready to do the mouth, so right now we have the eyebrows, the eyes, the nose. We're getting ready to do the mouth. So let's look at our diagram here. Okay, so we find the tip of our nose. We're gonna go down eight stitches, or eight rows, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we'll start there at that stitch right there. We'll bring our needle out and we'll go over five stitches. Then we will go up two rows, over three stitches, up two rows, over three stitches, up two rows, over two stitches. And then we'll go backwards. By going over this line two times, we'll make it bold and it'll be more pronounced. So then we'll go backwards, over, stop here. Then we'll go the reverse side of the smile. So five spaces up two rows, over three spaces, up two rows, over three, up two, over two. Then we'll come back to bold it, making it the same as the other side. And then we will tie our knot here and pull the knot into the inside of the work. Okay, so let's go ahead and work on that smile. Again, we're gonna start by finding, okay, find the tip of the nose. We're gonna go down eight rows. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so this is where I'm starting. 
okay? This right here is the very center most of the smile. So I'm actually gonna go down a row and diagonal. That way I can come at it from a, a point where I can pull the ends into the work, okay, leaving just a small tail. Now we're on this side. So looking at our diagram here. So if we're on this side of the center, then we're gonna go over one, two, three, four, five, six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six stitches. And then I'm gonna insert my needle up in that stitch. And then it says up two rows. So then I'm gonna go up one, two rows. Okay. So my smile will go straight over five, then up two. Go down to connect those. Now from this point, it wants me to go over three stitches. So from that point, I need to go over three. So one, two, three. So I want my needle to come out that third stitch. Okay. Then I'll come back to close that line. Okay. Then it says up two rows. Okay. So from here, from this very spot right here that we stopped. So up two rows. So I want to come out that spot right there. Okay. Come down to connect that line. Perfect. Okay, and then we're gonna pop out over three stitches. So one, two, three. So pop out that third one. Over to close. Okay, so that was the last three, then up two, over two. So up two, okay, then down to close and over two. All right, and then close. But this time I'm going to go back into the same stitch right there. Okay, and go back over. We're gonna make two yarns there to bold that line, okay? And then all we're going to do is go back over each line to give it that more defined pronounced look. In the middle, now look how much yarn I have left. I don't feel confident that I have enough yarn to do the other side of the smile. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in this stitch and pop out the same exact stitch that I started with, okay? Look how defined those are, it looks great. Oh, it's very, very bold. Okay, so then we are going to disconnect our yarn needle and tie three knots. I'll do three, you can do two, or however many you feel comfortable doing. And then we're going to cut any slack, extra slack right there. Pop in that same spot right there. Grab your loose yarn and pull that into the work. Okay, so we have side one of the smile. Let's do the other side. So grabbing more black yarn. Okay, so again, I'm going to start on the diagonal part of this start. So here's where the start is. I'm gonna go down one over one for a diagonal. The smile of the vampire is a total of 11 stitches across. We just did six, so I only do five more stitches to the left, okay? So one, two, three, four, five. So I'll insert right there there. And now it says up two rows. So I'm actually going to keep that right here. So up two rows. One, two. There we are. Okay. Down to actually close that line. 
The next is going to be over three. So one, two, three. Have that needle come off that third. Close that stitch. Up two rows. So if I'm right here, so up one, up two. Great. Close that line. Over three. One, two, three. Okay, close that line. And then up two, over two. So up two, one, two. Close that line and then over two, one, two. Great. Okay, so when I close this line, I'm gonna go back upon itself. I'm gonna, again, make this side of the smile bold, just like I did the other side. So I'm just gonna go backwards to everything that I just did. Pull into the inside of the bag. Great, okay, so what we see now, guys, is we have a very bold smile. It's very pronounced, it looks great. All we have left to attach are the fangs. Okay, so I like to attach the fangs on the corners of the bottom of that line. So right there, right where it hits that corner, Put one there and then right here where it would hit that corner right there. And once you have sewn on your fangs, your vampire bag is done, guys. Awesome. Okay, so here is the vampire bag. All you'll have to do is weave in your ends, clean up all the little, the little ends on the inside, but your bag is done for the vampire. Perfect. Okay, so when it comes to the ghost, the ghost is just going to be the same outermost eye that we did for the white part. Okay, his eyes, his black eyes are just the white eye in black. Let's, sh I'm going to show you how to do his mouth. To do his mouth, I'm going to actually show you with a different color. That way it's easier to see. I'm going to use the green. Okay, so making the mouth of the ghost in green here, but you'll, you'll make it in black for the ghost. Again, the bag is all made the exact same way. You're going to start with a slip knot. Okay, you're going to chain eight. Seven, eight. One. Single crochet in the second chain from your hook. Okay, single crochet in the next five chains. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, total of six single crochets are on this line now. Put four single crochets in the corner. One, two, three, four, great. Okay, single crochet in the next five, the other side of your chain. So single crochet in the next five of the other side. One, two, three, four, five, great. Okay, and we're gonna put three single crochet in this last chain. One, two, three, and slip stitch in the top of that first single crochet to close off row one or round one. Chain one, single crochet in that same stitch that you just single or slip stitched into. We are now in round two of the mouth. Single crochet in the next six stitches. Okay, increase single crochet in the next stitch, which just means put two single crochets in the next stitch. Two single crochets or increase single crochet in the following stitch. So it goes increase and then increase. Single crochet in the next seven stitches. If you feel like I'm going really fast, just make sure that you're following along with the pattern and you can just check off or tally or 
put a little dot next to everything that I'm saying to do. I'm literally just going along with the pattern that you were provided with for this exact project, okay? So we just finished the seven single crochet and then we're going to increase, increase. So increase single crochet, increase single crochet, and slip stitch in the very first single crochet to close round two. Round three, we're going to chain one, single crochet in the same stitch that you just slip stitched into. We're gonna single crochet in the next seven stitches for a total of eight single crochet. We're going to increase in the next stitch, increase single crochet, single crochet, one single crochet in the next stitch, increase single crochet in the stitch after that, and then eight single crochet along the other side. And then we'll do increase single crochet, one single crochet, increase single crochet, slip stitch into the first. So increase single crochet, which just means two in the same stitch, then one single crochet, and then increase single crochet, and then slip stitch in the top of the first single crochet to close round three. We are now in round four, last row of the mouth, chaining one, single crochet in the same stitch you just slip stitched into, single crochet in the next seven stitches for a total of eight, so one, Going to increase single crochet in the next stitch. One single crochet in the next two stitches. So one, one. Increase single crochet in the next stitch. One, two. Nine single crochet along the next nine stitches. Increase single crochet. One single crochet in the next two stitches. One, one. Increase single crochet. One single crochet in the last stitch there and single or slip stitch to close round four. That's it guys, that is how you would make the mouth of the ghost. And that's also exactly how you would make the mouth of the monster. It's the same size as this oval right here okay so that is how you make the mouth of the ghost and the mouth of the monster okay so we have now identified everything you need to do for the vampire everything you need to do for the ghost for the monster the eyes are the same as the vampires the eyebrows are the same as the vampires the nose is just a V shape right in between the bottom of the eyes, right in line with the center of the handle of the bag. Okay. And then it just goes down one, two, three rows and over one, two stitches. Okay. Over two, down three, over two, down three. Okay. And I went, I did two different yarns to bold the nose. Okay. Just showed you how to do the mouth. Let me show you how to do his teeth real quick. For the teeth, grab your white color of yarn. Okay, you're going to make your slip knot, attach your hook. Going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Single crochet in the second chain from your hook. Single crochet in the next two chains. For a total of three single crochets. There we go. Chain one, turn your little work, it's so tiny. Okay, single crochet in each one of these three stitches. One, two, three. Okay, so that was row two. Chain one, turn your work. Row three, last row, just one single crochet in each one of those stitches. One, two, three three, then you would cut off a long tail so you could sew onto your project, yarn over, pull through all the way through for that slip knot to tie that off, make two of these for two teeth, and that is how you would make the teeth. When it comes to his scars, is grab some black yarn. I didn't even double it up. If you want to go vertical, you would just go a straight line down 
and then over, skip a few rows, over, skip a few rows, over, skip a few, a few rows, over. If you wanted to go horizontal, you just do one long horizontal line and then go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down and secure. That's all. The scars are super easy. And that's for the monster. The next bag that I want to show you guys is the jack-o'-lantern. He is going to have three identical triangles and his squiggly smile. What I first want to show you how to make are the three identical triangles. I'm going to use the green yarn again so that way we can see the stitches much more clearly. Okay, so go ahead and make your slip knot. Insert your crochet hook. Great. Okay, chain two. One, two, Right, row one, all you're doing is putting one single crochet in that first chain. That's it. One. Chain one. Turn your work. For row two, we're going to put two single crochets in that same stitch. One. Two. Chain one. Turn our work. Row three, we're going to put two single crochets in each stitch. So one two, three, four, chain one, turn our work, okay? For row four, we're going to put one single crochet in each uh, stitch. So one, two, three, four, chain one, turn our work. Row five, we're going to increase single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the next two stitches, and increase single crochet in the last stitch. So one, two, one, 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 two, chain one, turn our work. Row six, we're going to put one single crochet in each stitch across. You should end row, uh, row six with six single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, chain one, turn your work. Row seven, you're going to increase in the first stitch, put one single crochet in the next four stitches, and then increase single crochet in the last stitch. So one, two, one, 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 and then one, two, chain one, turn our work. For row eight, you're just putting one single crochet in each stitch across. You should have eight single crochets in the, at the end of this row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, chain one, turn our work. Row nine, we're increase single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in the next six stitches, and increase single crochet in the last stitch. So one, two, one, 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 and then one, two, chain one, turn our work. For row 10, the very last row, we're putting one single crochet in each stitch. We should end row 10 with 10 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Perfect. So what you would do next is cut a long tail so we can sew this onto the work. Yarn over, pull through that loop to secure a knot, and then you have your triangle piece. You would make three of those, two eyes, one nose. That's all you do. Okay, when it comes to the mouth, I do have a diagram just like I did for the vampire. So again, here is the handle. Placing the eyes right below the edge of the handle to line them up. Okay, so wherever you place these on 
on your bag. You can have them lower, you can have them higher. You're going to line up the nose in the middle of the two eyes in the row right below. Okay? Then right under the nose, three rows down, you're going to start the middle of your smile. So let me show you how that's going to going to look. I'm going to take my bag. I'm going to use the back of it. Okay? Grab my yarn needle. Get my black yarn here, cut off a real long string. Great. Okay, so we're going to pretend middle of my handle. Okay, so here's where it attaches. Here's where it attaches. So one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven. Here's the middle of my handle. I'm gonna follow that all the way down. Okay, so I'm going to pretend because I'm not going to make all the triangles, but I'm going to pretend that this spot right here is three rows down from the bottom of my nose. Okay, so one, two, three. I'm going to insert my yarn needle in the stitch below the stitch I want it to come out of. Okay, so I want it to come out here. I'm going to insert my needle in the stitch below it so I can come out the stitch I want the black line to begin at. There we go. Okay, now looking at the diagram. So I'm here at the very tip of the mouth. I wanna go down four rows and over three stitches, okay? So let's look at this work here. I want to go down four rows. So one, two, three, four and over three stitches. One, two, three. So I'm inserting my needle in there and I'm going to come out where I want my next stitch. So I just inserted my needle right here. I wanna pop out my needle right there, okay? So this spot right here is three stitches over and four rows up, okay? So I want my needle to pop out three stitches over, one, two, three, and four rows up. One, two, three, four. So that space right there. Right there. Great, okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to close that line. So I'm gonna go back into that space, but where do I put, stick my needle out of next? Okay, so you're following this diagram. I'm just helping you read it. So we just came out, this spot right here is that spot right there. So we're going to backtrack to close that line but I want to come out this spot right here. So looking at that spot that I just came out of, I need to go over four, one, two, three, four. So I need to go over four stitches and down three rows, three rows to get to that spot right there. Okay. So from this stitch here, I need to go over four one, two, three, four, down three rows. One, two, three, right there. Okay. So that connects right there, perfect. And this spot right here is down three rows. One, two, three, yep, and over four. One, two, three, four, yep, perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna come back to connect that line. I'll even just pull it into the work just so we can connect the line. Okay, so from this spot right here, I need to, so we're right here. So we're staying in the same exact stitch. I'm just going up five rows, okay? So staying in the exact same line, I'm just going up five rows. So one, two, three, four, five. Great, come back down to attach that line. Okay, so I'm right here, right here. Now I need to go over five stitches and down two rows. Okay, so one, two, three, four, 
Okay, so over five, one, two, three, four, five, and down two rows, one, two. So I need to come out this stitch right here. There we go. Okay, come back to attach that line. Fabulous. Okay, so I'm right here. The last thing I have to do is go up five rows, staying in the exact same stitch. Okay, so same stitch, just up five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Right there, perfect, okay? And then back down to attach. But what I do with the last row, guys, is I go back into the same stitch I just came out of, and I'm going to go backwards on my work, putting a second line everywhere I went to really bold that smile. Perfect, look at that. This right here that we just did is this whole half of the smile. So what I would do next is I would attach to the top of the other half of the smile. I'd go down four rows over three stitches, attach. And then I would go up four rows over three stitches, attach. Then I'd go down three rows over four stitches, attach. Then I'd go up five rows, attach. Then I'd go down two rows over five stitches, attach. And then lastly, end with five rows. And then go back over the work to make that bold line. I'm gonna make this all cleaned up and pretty for you and make made in a printable form so that way you can print this out and follow along, try to be as helpful as I can here. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments below, or you can directly email me or message me in any of my social media contacts, and I would love to help. But that is how you would do the jack-o'-lantern. And once you have these down, guys, you will know how to make every one of these, the jack-o'-lantern, the vampire, the monster, and the ghost. Super simple. I hope you have a great time making all four of these or at least your favorite ones. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. All right, guys, that is it. That is how you make my trick or treat bag. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you might also really like these other videos right here. Also check out this video, which is just a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for joining me today. I always love crocheting with you. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you with my next video. Bye guys.